On today's menu, an irresistible and veggie-licious recipe. An uncomplicated veggie stir-fry. Lay home man, that's how's it going in Cantonese. I'm Will Young from YoungManCooking.com. Welcome to the channel where you can cook with confidence. Stir-fries are the best because they don't require a lot of crazy ingredients and it's all about the prep and the sauce. That's it. Let's begin. Chop 80 grams of broccolini into bite-sized pieces. Chop about 40 grams of carrot into matchsticks. The carrot will add some sweetness and a nice crunch to the stir-fry. Brush off about 80 grams of cremini mushrooms with a paper towel. Mushrooms carry a lot of natural moisture, so it's ideal to brush them off dry. Chop the mushrooms into quarters. About half a red bell pepper, sliced. Half a red onion, quartered. Chop in half four spears of baby corn. All right, so this is a bit of a splurge item. This is a smoked tofu. It has the texture of a really extra firm tofu, but has this incredible savory smoky flavor. So if you can get your hands on this, I highly recommend it. Chop about 90 grams of smoked tofu into bite-sized cubes. The tofu will add a delightful texture and a delicious smoky flavor. Man, look at this spectacular plate of veggies. That is just beautiful. And the great part about stir fry is that it's so agile and so flexible depending on what vegetables you'd like to put in your stir fry. Go for it. Time to make that delicious but simple stir-fry sauce. Starting off with some soy sauce. This is an all-purpose soy sauce that will add a nice salty umami and some body. One tablespoon soy sauce. The dark soy sauce is used more for color as it's not as salty as the all-purpose regular soy sauce. So a little bit of this goes a long way. One teaspoon dark soy sauce. The hoisin sauce adds that really rich kind of umami as well as this salty sweetness and the reason for using a hoisin sauce or you can also sub this out for a plant-based oyster sauce is that it has this ability to kind of thicken this stir-fry sauce which will be really nice and glossy. One tablespoon hoisin sauce. The sriracha will add this spicy kick as well as this almost fermented tangy flavor. This will also help thicken that stir-fry sauce. One tablespoon sriracha. As the cane sugar cooks down in that sauce, it's going to melt and kind of caramelize and add this really nice sweetness. One teaspoon cane sugar. Lastly, the toasted sesame oil will add this finishing kind of fragrance to the stir-fry sauce. It will be absolutely delicious. Splash of toasted sesame oil. Stir to combine, then set aside. 
That's pretty much all the prep done. Now before we get stir frying, if you're interested in learning more about some of the ingredients or tools that we use on the cooking show here on YouTube, you can sign up for the free Young Men Cooking newsletter where every week I send out a newsletter straight to your inbox with a short blurb about cooking tools or ingredients used on the cooking show. If we weren't able to get to answering your questions in the comment section, definitely check this out. We might have already answered some of those questions in a previous newsletter. I'll leave a link in the description box below or you can visit Young youngmencooking.com. Now, let's get stir frying. Non-stick pan, medium high heat, one teaspoon avocado oil, smoked tofu, saute the tofu for three to four minutes. This will add a little crispiness to the tofu along with its already smoky flavor. Set the tofu aside. Add another teaspoon of oil. Red onions. Broccolini. Saute for a couple of minutes. Allow some time for the veggies to sear and get some color. Cremini mushrooms and carrots. Saute for a couple of minutes. Remember, you can feel free to sub out the veggies with other veggies you have on hand. Red bell pepper and baby corn. Saute for another couple of minutes. Stir fry sauce. Add back in the tofu. Saute for about another minute. Careful not to overcook, for the veggies may become soggy. Plate to stir fry and serve with freshly steamed rice. You can now enjoy these colorful veggies with absolute confidence. Something so simple to put together and yet so packed with incredible flavor. Man, that is fresh, that is delicious. First off, you have this visually stunning dish that has this beautiful pop of red, purple, green, just on a bed of this earthy looking tofu, corn and mushroom mix. You can see this tofu just absorbing all of that stir fry sauce and just changes into this caramel color. Then there's this nice kind of acidic sweetness that comes from the red bell pepper and the broccolini adds this kind of crunchy freshness. There's a bit of that sweetness from the corn and the sweetness from the cane sugar and the hoisin sauce. That sriracha adds that little bit of spiciness. And of course the soy sauce adds that salty umami. The tofu here is just extraordinary. It has that incredibly smoky savoriness and a flavor that's just unreal. This is definitely one of those recipes you can make on a weekly repeat and enjoy this with a bowl of freshly steamed rice and it is an amazing meal. It's dishes like this that's just simplistic yet packs so much incredible flavor that makes it so exciting to cook at home. And if you love easy, delicious recipes like that, then definitely check out or pick up your copy of one of the three Young Men Cooking Cookbooks. I'll leave a link in the description box below for you to check these out along with the Young Men Cooking Merch and Plant Based Sushi Masterclass. Or you can visit youngmencooking.com. If you enjoyed today's recipe, definitely remember to give it a like leave a comment and subscribe with that notification bell clicked so you won't miss a single episode.